Hey everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. I just had some thoughts that I wanted to share. And I've heard before that we are, you know, we were given dominion over this earth and everything on it, not dominion over other humans, but, and I mean, that's, that's true. Of course, I've heard that. But with that, that that would be why people want to conquer mountains and waters and skies and, you know, land on the moon, like that there's this innate thing in us that wants to exert our dominion, but it's meant to be over the earth in a you know, lifting up way, supporting, stewarding way, and over the enemy in a conquering way. He is a defeated foe, but we're to put him into submission under the feet of Jesus. And so I've been thinking about just different you know, people climbing Mount Everest and all the other highest peaks and the dangers they go through, the life's risked and lost, um, swimming, you know, amazing waterways with animals, currents, storms, all the things. Um, and then also, you know, climbing high peaks, uh, paddling across entire oceans, you know, there's these people that do these amazing feats that battle, um, you know, oxygen deprivation and really severe sunburns and uh, muscle wasting. I mean, just electrolyte imbalance from the exertion, right? The complete lack of sleep, all of those things. And it just made me think, I want everybody to have a purpose, a drive that really is for the eternal. So I'm not saying we need to do good works for the Lord to the point of needing oxygen on Mount Everest. Like I, it's not that, but if people can do that just to have their name in a book or something or claim that they've done it, then we can just spread the gospel. It just was kind of convicting to me and what a human can do that doesn't have an eternal purpose. And so what can we do? And I just, I guess I'm thanking God for his word, his Holy Spirit in us that gives us the strength and ability to work and will for his good pleasure. And uh, I'm thinking about like, Paul listing out all these things that uh, he suffered for God. It doesn't include sickness, actually, if you were wondering, but it does include, um, you know, being being beaten, like standing on the word of the Lord, sharing the gospel, even if you're told not to. Uh, there's, is it Peter and Silas or Paul and Silas? You know, there's people that get in, put in jail and they get back out and they start preaching Jesus again. And it's like, you weren't supposed to do that. Well, we do what God tells us to do. And so I think it just was really convicting. Wow. If I can, you know, hear these stories and watch these people do these just kind of crazy feats, uh, willing to set everything else aside. And I'm not saying again, that those are the way we should do it. Actually, we're, we're supposed to be Holy spirit led and really let him empower us. But if we do that, nothing can stop us. Right. We have, we're, we have the Holy spirit in us. <laughs> so I guess I'm just kind of sharing that, that it was conviction to go, wow, if people can push through that much, uh, of maybe, physical suffering and things and we're talking persecution that could include um being put in jail and praising god in the middle of the isolated jail with our feet in stocks and being broken free uh and, you know there's just so many stories of that and so god i just thank you that you have given us your holy spirit that we do have an eternal purpose that we're not working this hard and experiencing um sleepless nights or just the fatigue or anything for no purpose uh, or just for our name in a book. We have our name in the book of life, but not just a record book. I thank you, God. And I'm not 
this isn't to put anybody else down. I want everybody to have an eternal purpose. And I'm not saying that um, competing in sports is bad. It's not that even a little bit, but wow, let's have that drive (laughs) to really spread God's message. And this is just kind of a convicting message to say myself, and I want to want to spread Jesus that much. So anyway, I love your thoughts. Have a wonderful day.